We will meet here on the plains of the Elwyn Forest near Westville. My friends, to victory! To, to victory! victory! I don't play World of Warcraft. Butters, you said you're on your computer all the time. Yeah, but I'm playing Fortnite and Minecraft. Butters, go buy World of Warcraft, install it on your computer, and join the online sensation before we all murder you. Oh, oh, all right, all right then. If you're looking for a very simple and quick method of making gold, this is going to be the right video for you. My name is Brian7474, and I'm here to help you make gold in World of Warcraft today. There's a ton of amazing ways to make gold in vanilla World of Warcraft, but this is probably the easiest and quickest method for a large turnaround, which means you can make more gold at once. Using this guide, you can make a hundreds of gold in just a few days. This video is going to be especially helpful to new players. Everyone leveling up worries about buying their mount. It's a very expensive purchase at level 40. Using this guide, you can make sure you have that gold by level 40, so that you're not walking around like a pleb at level 42. And then once you hit level 60, you'll also have the skills to be able to get the gold for that mount. That mount is a thousand gold. It's a lot of gold especially for someone who's been newer to the game. This is a great way to get that gold, so that you can have the fastest mount in the game to get from place to place end game. Just a quick warning in advance, this method of making gold does rely on a bit of luck, a lot of patience, and it also requires the ability to recognize the kind of people you're playing with in your server. Is there a lot of people buying gear for disenchanting? Is there a lot of people buying crafting materials? Something you're going to need before you start here is a bit of gold. Only four or five pieces. This guide's gonna rely on investing and playing the auction house, as though it was the focus of World of Warcraft. But you could start with as much gold as you want five gold, ten gold, hundred gold, and you'll be able to build your way up to a thousand gold even quicker. You can follow this guide with any character level as long as you have a small amount of gold to start. Again, you can start with as little as five pieces of gold, it doesn't matter. Now we're gonna jump over to Stormwind and see just what we're talking about. Now as mentioned before, today we're going to be playing the auction house. This basic concept means buying things for a low price and then selling it at a high price. It's an extremely basic concept that's worked very well for many players in World of Warcraft. In this clip, we're going to be buying all the iron ore in the server so that we know no one else has any on the market on the alliance side. It's very important that you make sure no one else is selling iron ore other than you, if you're going to follow this exact guide. In this clip, I've found 5 stacks of iron ore at 1 gold per stack. This is great for me. Iron ore is a very useful crafting material, and it's also kind of annoying to farm. If we're the only one selling iron ore on the auction house, chances are it's going to flip quick. Typically what I try to do is buy the entire stock of a material on the auction house. I grab it all from the mailbox immediately, then I throw it back on the auction house. You want to try to relist your iron ore before anyone else notices that there's no iron ore on the auction house. Now remember, this isn't just iron ore. You can do this with almost any crafting material. Iron ore just happens to be a very popular crafting material. Now remember we bought these stacks of iron ore for about one gold each, so we're going to have a fairly easy time flipping these. When you sell something at a flip price, take into consideration Number one, how annoying is this material to farm? And number two, how much will someone pay to avoid having to farm? With iron ore, it's again a bit of a pain in the ass to farm. So I can charge up to 10 gold. I just made nine gold per stack. In this server in particular, I know for a fact that iron ore will easily sell for 10 gold per stack. And that the guy who posted them at one gold per stack probably just didn't realize that. This is a win for us and a loss for him. We're gonna make a lot of gold doing this. At this point, you can do whatever you want, go quest, go take a shower, do whatever, because you have to wait for this item to sell. This is a very passive way to make gold, so you can still do dungeons, raids, whatever you want while you're waiting. A few moments later. Now it's been less than an hour and we've already got mail. Let's go see if all of our iron ore finally sold. Bangany boom, we just made 45 gold in less than an hour. Uh, this wool in my mail is actually just stuff that I priced a bit too high last time, so you gotta watch out for that. Make sure you don't price stuff too high, as no one's gonna buy it. Now 
Now let's recap what we've learned today a little bit. Gold can in fact be extremely easy to make, but the material in question in this video just happened to be very cheap on the auction house today. Iron ore is not always like this, and sometimes it's very hard to find a material that is priced cheaply that you can sell for a high price. This is where that little bit of luck is gonna come in. The math for today's video is very simple. Within an hour, we made 45 gold. We invested five gold, and then took those five stacks of iron ore and sold them at 10 gold each. That's a fantastic flip. But how do you do this with other materials and goods? Well, it's all basically the same. Think of very popular crafting materials that might be on the auction house, such as silk cloth, leather, other ores. It's extremely easy to buy low and sell high when it's there. I'll post a list in the description of this video of very popular crafting materials you can do this with. I do have to give a very wise word of warning. Do not try to buy more than 10 stacks of any material. If the auction house has that much of the material available, chances are number one, it's not in very high demand, and number two, if it's the same person selling all of it, they're probably doing the same thing you're doing, and chances are they have a lot more in their bank. It's perfectly fine for you to keep a bunch of materials in your bank to throw on there when you notice it's not on the auction house. Let's say iron ore again. If you keep 10 or 20 stacks of iron ore in your bank, and you check every so often, and you see that there's no iron on the auction house one day, you can post it at whatever price you want, because guess what, you're the only one selling it. As long as you're the only one selling something, and your price isn't ridiculous, you'll be the one selling that thing, and you'll be the one making all the gold. There's two other very important factors of auction house flipping that you should consider. The first really important one is BOE items and disenchanting. Buy not equip items are, you know, usually kind of crappy armor, uh, the green stuff you'll find in dungeons that doesn't really do anything for you, might not do anything for anyone, it's just horrible stats, but it is useful to one person, an enchanter. If you see extremely cheap crappy armor on the auction house that can be disenchanted, buy it and flip it. Don't go nuts with the price since it's not really anything useful to anyone but enchanters, but they, those people do need these items to both level up their enchanting and get materials for doing enchantments. Another very important factor to consider when buying buy non equip items is checking for the really rare ones. There are some extremely rare buy non equip items that are very useful to some people. Twinks um, really like to use these little uh, low level items that are extremely good and extremely rare. Uh, Shadow Fang is probably the best example. It's a uh, it's a rare sword that it has a very low chance of dropping in Shadow Fang Keep. If you see this sword for less than even 10 or 20 gold, buy it and then throw it back on the auction house for 100 gold. Chances are you'll be waiting a little while for that to sell, but it will sell. Twinks will pay out the ass to have the best gear for their level range. I'll put a list in the description of uh, very popular items that you'll want to buy and sell in the auction house or just keep an eye out for that you can make a lot of money off of. I want to thank you again for watching this video. Um, if you liked it, please like it and subscribe. Put it in the comments if it helped you out. And if you want more tips for making gold in World of Warcraft, let me know. While this is the quickest and most painless way to make gold in World of Warcraft, this isn't the only way and it's not even the most reliable way. Again, comment below if you found this video helpful or if you want even more information on making gold in World of Warcraft. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.